service learning coordinator in American School or so, and I'm also a test supervisor for SAT and ACT. Um, I, when I was thinking about planning this presentation, I was thinking, what would you like to know the most? Because there's so much information on the website when you go to College Board or ACT. There's everything. You can find all the information on the website. So um, I will try to answer the most practical questions uh, in my presentation, the ones that I actually get, the questions I get mostly. The, the first thing, I will talk about the ACT exam, and then I present SAT. At the end of presentation, I will explain what the differences are between these two, because a lot of times I ask, it, I ask, it, ask that question, when, why SAT, why ACT, which one is better? Okay, so let's start with ACT. ACT is an American college test, and it tests English, mathematics, science, reading, and writing. The highest possible score is 36. Each of these sessions, English, mathematics, science, and reading, is scored from one to 36. Later, when we have the whole score, it is an average score. Okay, on the top, oh, we have a website, www.ctstudent.org, where I mentioned all information can be found. Test duration English is the first test. It's 45 minutes. Mathematics is the second test. It's 60 minutes. Reading, we have 40 questions, 35 minutes. And science, we have 35 minutes. In mathematics, this is the only test that you allow to use a calculator. ACT, when you go on the website, they will explain which calculators are permitted in the test center. Not all of the calculators are permitted, so it is your responsibility to check if your calculator is permitted, and when you come to the test center, you will be asked to show the calculator. Again, as with TOEFL, as my colleagues said about TOEFL, we have different preparations programs. You can have an ACT online preparation course. It's, it's quite also a cost. It's about $20 for one year. So if you subscribe for this program, um, you will have to be able to access it for one year. Then we have the real ACT prep guide. It's a hard copy. It's about $30. And this is the only one that includes five actual ACT tests. It was an optional writing test. Uh, in ACT, and that's one of the differences with SAT, you can choose whether you would like to have a writing, writing essay, or you don't. Writing essay is always the last test, so if you decide that you don't need one, you, you are welcome to leave after four tests. Okay? Also, when you go on the ACT website, there is that question of the day posted. Every day is a different question. You can go always challenge yourself and see if you can answer that question. And also put an example of one of these questions, and I, I know that a lot of times when people ask that question, always it's difficult how hard it is, will we be able to test it? So please go to the website, visit the website, you can check your knowledge. So for example, a researcher wants to determine whether an identified sediment sample was drawn from a depth of 15 centimeters or 20 centimeters. Based on the information in the table, which of the following would not confirm the depth of sample? And you are given the answers so you are asked to choose one of them. Also, there is a prep rate for the ACT. It's a free PDF document. So when you go online and you would like to have a free document where you can practice all the tests, you can, you can access it online. Okay, again, I was thinking that probably you would have liked to have some questions to see what the test looks like. Uh, the system of the exams is quite interesting. Uh, the colleague mentioned that we, in TOEFL you have computers. In ACT, in ACT you have actually a booklet. So you are given a booklet and you can write, you can draw, you can do everything you want in the booklet. Then you have to transfer your answers on the, on the answer sheet. Okay, so in mathematics, a car average 27 <coughs> miles per gallon. Gas costs $4 per gallon, which of the following discloses? How much gas would cost for this car to travel 2,000 typical miles? One of the mathematical questions. Then we have a science. I wonder if you can read it from the, from the back. Perhaps shall I read it or everyone can read it too? 
or for reading, it can reasonably be inferred that groups of followed characters from the passage looks according to definition of life fully lived. So you are asked, you are given a passage, you read a passage, and you have to choose the answer. When you enter the classroom, the test supervisor guides you where you will sit. So you cannot choose a seat for the exam. You are asked, you have to have your ID, which is your probably passport or the photo speech there with a photo, and you are guided to seat. Every booklet is different. So the person who is in front of you, the person who is in back of you, ha probably have, has a different test booklet. So all these test booklets have different tasks. And this is coming to the exam, to the writing essay. And I also gave an example just for you to know what you might be asked to, to, to write about. So educators debate extending high school to five years because of increasing demands on students from employers or college to participate in extracurricular activities and community service in addition to having high grades. Some educators support extending high school for five years because they think students need more time to achieve all that is expected of them. Other educators do not support extending high school to five years because they think students will lose interest in school and attendance will drop in the fifth year. In your opinion, should high school be extended to five years? And in your essay, take a position on this question. In ACT, a lot of times you are asked to take a position. So if you say that you agree with the statement above, you have to justify, you have to explain why. And this writing test lasts for 35 minutes. As I mentioned, you decide whether you take it or not, whether you need a writing essay or not. And of course, we have different test tips and they're all online. So you have to remember about bringing number two pencil. You have to remember about bringing uh, erasers. You have to remember to bring your ID. You also have to remember to bring your admissions ticket. It is very important because sometimes students, we have situations like that. Students think, oh, it's an admissions ticket meeting. We need to take it, but if we don't take it, that's fine too. No, you, will, you would not be allowed to the test center if you do not have an admission ticket do not have an ID. We have some situations when students come, they register for an American school, for example, but they don't check the address. There's another test center for SAT. It's International American School, Warsaw. And then if a person comes that is registered for a different test center, we are not allowed to admit. The procedures are very strict in both tests because both this SAT and ACT determine whether you're accepted to college or not. So if you are late for registrations, then you're not allowed. I'm sure that will not happen in your case, but I always want to, to make sure that you remember these things. For uh, this school year, we have exam tomorrow, and we have June the 14th. It's another exam for ACT. The good thing is that you can, you can try to test as many times as you can. In ACT, they say it's 12. More than 12 is not allowed. In SAT, you decide how many times to. If you do not like the result of your exam, you always can retake it. I get a question. So if I can take as many times as I want, what's the reasonable time? And we say that it's about three times. Again, it depends on you, your abilities, what you want to achieve, what college you want to go because it is, the research shows for SAT exam and ACT as well, that the score, no matter how much many times tested, student gets a similar score. American College Test is a test that tests your knowledge that you gained in the classroom. SAT is different, it's more understanding, critical thinking. This test tests what you have learned in school. So if you learned in school, you were studying hard for three years, probably your score will be quite similar the first time, the second time, and the third time. I have questions a lot. Can you prepare? Can you, have, can, you, uh, can you provide us a tutor? We do not provide a tutor because there's nothing like a tutor. You have to learn in school. You have to go to classes. You have to study because in one month, in two months, it's impossible to prepare for, for ACT or SAT. <laughs> All right, there's also a question how much these exams cost. 
ACT no writing is $36. ACT plus writing is $52. You can have a telephone registration, standby testing. What is a standby testing? For registration, you have deadlines. So for example, for this, for June, for the June exam, you have to register. I don't remember what the date was. And you could not do it. You're late. So then you can have a standby testing date. And it works like this, you register late, and you admit it to the test center whether we have testing materials or not. So for example, we have 100 books, and we have enough students, we have 95 students registered, and we have six students who are standby status. We will allow to the test center person who comes the first, the earliest. The earliest, the next one, the next one, on first come, first test basis for the international testing, and we are international testing center uh, to register for the exam, you have to add $33. We can you can also change the test date, for example, you want to test April the 12th, but you decided for some reason that's not gonna work, you can re-register for the next test administration, and then of course additional fees are added. Okay, so as ACT, the exam that was test testing your knowledge that you learned in the classroom. SAT is classic aptitude test, and this is a test that tests mostly what your critical thinking, the way of understanding, the directions, reading, and way of understanding what you asked to do. So it's again, we have writing sections, critical reading, and mathematics. In this test, SAT does not have science. ACT has science question, and this one doesn't. The highest possible score is 2,400. Again, on the, on the bottom of the, of the slide, you can see that's SATCollegeBoard.org website where you can find all the information needed. Test duration, it's shorter. Please note that this session is a little bit shorter. The essay is the first exam, so everybody's writing a test for SM, writing an essay for ACT. 25 minutes, then you have six 25 minute sections, then you have two 20 minute sections, and a 10 minute multiple choice writing section. And total by this thing time is 3 hours and 45 minutes. Test preparation again, official SAT study guide with PVD, $25, uh, official SAT online course, $55, official SAT study guide. 17, and there is a full practice test for free. In our school, American School of Warsaw, we have a course. It's usually in March. Unfortunately, it's only offered for our students, so uh, not students allowed from the outside to take the course, the preparation course. Again, some sample questions, reading, mathematics, as I mentioned, there's no science for this test. Writing. Writing in SAT is a little bit probably, I have to say, maybe trickier because in ACT it's a very clear. You have to take a position on a certain statement. In SAT, different things are scored and different uh, different things are important. It's, I would say, it is accepted that it's a little, probably more sophisticated writing piece. You can get these examples from the website also. And again, just for taking the SAT test, it's very important that you have your ID. It's, it's very important that you have admissions ticket. It's very important that you um, have proper calculators, because not all calculators are accepted again for the SAT. Uh, it is important that you do not use cell phones in both exams. You are not allowed to use cell phones during the break or during the exam, first of all, but during the break as well. So absolutely, if there is a sound that is made by any electronic device during the test, you are asked to leave, leave and your scores will, your answers will not be scored. Also, you're not allowed to eat or drink during the exam. Uh, sometimes uh, we have students who are not happy, oh, we need water for this. No, because of different reasons and we, uh, we, okay. Dates. Uh, I think we're short of time, so again, we have the, I put the piece on so you know what the cost looks like. 
accommodations, as it provides accommodations, um, it, the different accommodations, we need extra breaks, uh, student so dyslexia, it's all, it's, it's all, it all can be arranged. It, the important thing is that you have to notify the college board SAT eight weeks for pre the test. So if you have a letter saying that you will need to test some uh, blood, sh blood sh sugar, sugar level in your blood, you have to inform SAT. Otherwise, you won't be allowed to do that. Okay. So now again, what are the major differences? Aptitude versus achievement. SAT and ACT, as I mentioned before, ACT is knowledge that you learned in the classroom, and SAT is general knowledge or understanding critical thinking. Test length, ACT is 215 minutes, ACT, uh, ACT is, they both are almost the same, 345, but in ACT you have 215 questions, and in ACT you have 170 questions, that means for ACT, you have a shorter period of time to answer each question. ACT science, as I mentioned, ACT has science questions. Writing is still different, as I think I mentioned also, that ACT is a little easier to understand and it's straightforward, and ACT can be a little trickier. ACT has trigonometry and mathematics. It is, it is considered to be more mathematically advanced. The SAT guessing penalty, that's very important. That when you have a question, you don't know the answer, can you guess? In SAT, you will be taking one fourth of your point. In ACT, you can guess as much as you, as you want. Of course, your best interest to answer the, the right question. SAT differences, again, you mentioned an SAT vocabulary. It's more advanced vocabulary for the SAT as essay. Okay. So this is my contact. Uh, in American School of Warsaw. If you need any information, I'd be happy to answer. Please find me on the phone number. Thank you.